Father, um, I've got an article here entitled, Two Eminent Churchmen Agree. Yes. Uh, that there actually is, this is a shocker to a lot of people. Yes. Uh, that there is, there are satanic practices going on at the Vatican. Could that be true? Yes. You want to, you want to say that? A, uh, if I was a lawyer and you were on the witness chair, I'd say, would you say it? <laughs> it's out loud, yes. Yeah. Yes, it is. Now, when we say in the Vatican, it's at a certain level. And um, there's no doubt about it that there have been and still are practices that are uh, formally uh, venerating Lucifer, the prince of this world. There's no doubt about that. The Vatican itself has about eight resident exorcists. And uh, it, it uses those both there and in the two other cities that are devil-ridden in Italy, Milano and Torino, Milan and uh, Turin. But there's no doubt about it that satanic or Luciferian practices, because it's really of the prince, and his name is Lucifer. It's really of the prince that these, uh, in veneration of him and service of him, that these actions have taken place and do take place. Quelicet sit divisus in partes, motuati tamen luminis detrimenta non novi. Aliturene in liquantibus ceris, quasi in sostantia preziose oius lampadis, apismate reduxi. O vere beata nox, in qua terrenis celestia, humanis divina iunguntu. Oramus ergo te domine, ut cereus iste in honorem tui nominis consecratus. Ad noctis uius caliginem destruendam, in deficiens perseveret. Et in odorem suavitatis acceptus, supernis luminaribus misceatur. Flamma seius, lucifer matutinus inveniat. Ille in quan lucifer quinescito casum, Christus filius tuus, 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 qui regressus ab ingenis, cum ad generis serenus illusit, et te cum vivit et regnat in secula. Christus filius tuus, qui regressus ab in 
inferis, humano generis renus iluxit, et tecum vivit et reniat in secula seculorum. Freemasonry is the center and queen of secret societies, binding members to secrecy by fearful oaths. This hallmark of evil is confirmed by the wicked aims and the wicked fruits of Freemasonry, which are the overthrow of Christianity. And there are enemies of our Lord Jesus Christ right back from the moment he was crucified. That is the explanation of the paralysis of the Catholic Church. The paralytic state in which the Catholic Church is, the Freemasons are in control and Satan has been enthroned. And until some pope has the power and the courage to chase the devil out, a large number of the leading churchmen are at the service of Satan through Freemasonry. If you ask how can possibly a Catholic churchman get into Freemasonry, the churchmen are tempted to join what they can't lick. That's the basic temptation. They kid themselves that this process is going to lead to a bright and brave new world. And so that the way in which a Catholic today is really Catholic is not by staying faithful to the fuddy-duddy old crusty dogmas and doctrines. They must join this Masonic process rather than resist it. Freemasonry plays a very important part in how the church has got into its present mess. Humanly speaking, the situation is hopeless. The Lord God has allowed it to get out of control. It's a punishment. A lot of people today don't want the truth. They like their slush and their mush and their lies. It's a punishment. These churchmen want to become Freemasons. They're then the wave of the future. They're on the winning side instead of being on the losing side. Woe to you, O earth and sea, for the devil has come down to you in great wrath because he knows that his time is short. If you take this old-fashioned view of Catholicism like we're taking, we're absolute losers. We've lost. It's hopeless. The future is dark, humanly speaking, dark, dark, dark. There is no hope virtually. The Masons have won, the bad guys are in control, and there's no future. When we are successful, and we will be, there is a clear clash, a clear and head-on clash between Jesus Christ on one side and Satan on the other, which is the mainspring of history. 